for those of you who don't know this about me, about three years ago, I went on a podcast talking about how I hooked up with an NBA team. It went super viral. The team. And <clears throat> I will never, ever, ever live this down on the internet because every few months, like, a new blog posts about it, like, as if it's new information or something. And so, like, every couple months, my DMs will be flooded with, like, hate messages telling me I should myself and that i'm like the worst human being on the world just basically any terrible thing you could say to somebody that's kind of much and that's a trust lot. me nothing that anybody says in my dms like that can bother me like it's honestly just weird to me seriously dog. i've never understood like hate messages or even comments like i'm like that's so embarrassing like if anybody saw my name under like a tiktok or an instagram post like calling someone a horrible hum human being or like a slut or anything like negative like that's so embarrassing i would just never do that and of course it's always from a fake page because they don't want to show their face mm. because if i came for you you know i would eat your ass up if I saw what you looked like. Balls. Anyway, so I've never understood that in the first place. And it's like, bitch, you joke. actually don't know me as a person. You know that one story about me. And the thing that really gets me is like, okay, there's people in the world who are abusive, who are abusing their partner, who are abusing, ch abusing children, abusing animals. Um, there's people out here selling drugs. There's people out here really hurting people. And you think I'm the worst person in the world for sucking dick. Like, be so f for real. And when I say that out loud, I realize, like, how dumb the person is in my DMs. And I'm like, bitch, go outside and touch grass. You're so fucking mad. Like, these people are mad at me for sucking dick. I'm not proud of that story anymore because like i'm a changed woman you know reformed but reformed i'm also not ashamed and like people can't come in my dms and like make me feel horrible about something i did like when i was 21 and fucked up and living my best life like i'm just I'm you're not gonna make me life. feel that's bad about it that's an i've moved on and i've learned from that and i honestly think it's a funny story but anyways the point is is like you just can't gaslight me to make me feel like I'm the worst person in the world when I never hurt anybody. Like, be fucking for real. Anyways, I'm sharing this because I know I'm not the only one that gets hate. Like, every bad bitch gets hate. And everybody that's doing something is gonna get hate. But, like, really, when you say it out loud, like, this person is on a fake fucking page. Calling me a horrible person for doing what? For doing what? That like, you're you fucking triggered. weird for that. Yeah, You're you weird. Triggered. Go outside and touch grass, bitch. Yo, the whole basketball team is crazy. And your first mistake was going to the public platform of a podcast and letting the whole world know about that. That was foolish. That was ill-advised. It was unwise. I mean, who would go around saying that type of thing, bro? That would be like a dude bragging about going to Dubai and smashing five camels on a camel farm. Nobody's going to let that live. People are going to call him a horrible human being. They're going to say, man, you're an animal abuser. They're going to say all kinds of stuff, right? That's probably a horrible analogy. But what I'm saying is this. Once the deed is done, the deed is done. You know, you have that scarlet letter on you for the rest of your life. People are never going to forget about that. And then you call yourself a bad bitch and everything like that. You know, if that's what it requires to be a bad bitch, I mean, I don't know why anyone would aspire to become said bad bitch like it just doesn't make sense it doesn't seem like a great investment or the best use of your time the highest and best use of opportunities like i just don't see it instead of trying to get a bag out of one of these nba dudes because you know britney renner said they're the dumbest people on earth that so you went and got dick she went and got pregnant and got money <laughs> like it just doesn't seem like that juice was worth the squeeze to me you know what i'm saying and as far as people telling you you're a horrible human being that just comes with the territory man when you put yourself out there in the public light people are going to have opinions about you right they had opinions about jesus someone who couldn't even avoid the drama so with that being said ma'am listen you just gotta wake up and smell the roses and take accountability for your actions that's what you brought up on yourself i don't know what caused you or motivated you to even put that business out there because society 
has historically shunned women who were easy and any woman who lets the whole team get their rocks off is an easy woman and a woman that most level-headed logical within reason men would never ever go for it's really that simple oh he thirsted thirsted look at him <laughs> go with your move uh, if you're gonna do all that big dog and make it obvious right be all conspicuous with it at least follow through if you see something you want you gotta go get it everybody didn't see you look at it now it's like damn what was the point you could have did the quick little oop and kept it moving oh no you gotta go with your move now partner straight up in my humble opinion if it was that nice why wouldn't you want to go shoot your shot yeah. there's just something about a bald coochie after you've been living like a caveman for the past three generations lord she's smacking it ah. Ah. You know, I must say, Bald Coochie is top tier. Um, It's not something I would want my girl putting on the internet. Hey, how y'all feel about Bald Coochie? Y'all prefer the Bald Coochie or y'all like Scarface? He said he liked them wolf coochies. <laughs> use all men in your life. So manipulate and use all men for your gain. If a man shows interest or a crush, use him to get ahead and whatever that person can offer you use anyone and everyone of like the male species voice box in a few to get years, a bro. imagine a world where men came on the internet and said use multiple women for sex do you think that post would have a similar effect do you think it would have 4,000 comments validating that man? No, I wouldn't. It makes you wonder the amount of women that preach that they Show need an emotionally intelligent man is if they even got that in the first place, if they would even know what to do with it. Posts like this solidify the idea that women are not as emotionally mature as you think they are. Mm. This woman likely got her heart broken by one man and she's on the internet talking about using all men and mm. using rhetoric such as all men in the first place. Mm. So I ask you, if the tables were turned and a man posted something like this about a woman, what do you think it would do? Mm. And women, if you want emotionally mature men, you also have to be emotionally mature and not post things like this. Okay, bye. You know, here's the thing though. One day the chickens are gonna come home to roost when you've been manipulating all of these men for financial gain, for food, for gas, to get things done that you don't feel like doing for yourself. It all is going to compound like interest and work to your detriment eventually because there's not gonna be a man who will take you seriously once you become that girl. And because we are in the technological age, news travels at the speed of light you know what i'm saying so hey let's see how this works out in the long run as much as y'all like to lean in on how powerful karma is astrological signs and all of this foolishness that y'all be talking about let's see how that works out for you if karma is a real thing how you think you're gonna get away with doing all that that's all i'm gonna see but shout out to this woman for bringing logical reasoning to the equation because this woman had none to offer <laughs> <laughs> Man, you toe up, bro. How beautiful she is. Why the fuck is she running like that? You good? Oh, uh, what's, the, what's, the, what's the matter? He, he saw what Kyle was getting into. Oh, he's going to keep going. Alright, good. Niggas be goofy in real life. <laughs> It's scary that your girl be cheating on you with a nigga this lame, dog. I swear. That's scary, bro. You sure you want me to take you back home? No, I'm with you for tonight. I just hope you can see your conference. Your girl will really be getting her cheeks clapped by a cornball, bro. Like, I swear. I'm hoping it's a skit, man. Like, I'm really hoping it's a skit because if it's not, man, I have no hope for society, bro. Never that. Back to your home TV. Uh, <laughs> I ain't blowing your phone or something. See, wow, bro, that's disrespectful. For the streets.
you know, this is crazy. For one, I don't know why you ain't pull off. For two, why you bragging about it and telling everybody? This got to be a skit. And if it's not a skit, man, I refuse to believe that people are really out here moving this recklessly, man. Like, come on, man. It don't make no sense, bro. That's how people get put in a body bag. How people get toe tagged. You get what I'm saying? So she, he's stupid. Everybody in this whole equation crazy. The boyfriend keep calling. He knows something up. Y'all wild, man. As your husband or your man. All right. Why would I ask for sex or ask to be cooked food mm. or ask for affection or ask anything? Mm. When the dog ain't asked for a motherfucking thing. The, the mother dog get thing. groomed. The dog get fed. Right. The dog get affection. Preach, Not bro. unless the dog talking when I leave this motherfucker. <laughs> the dog ain't asked you for shit. So why would me as your husband or your man have to ask for anything that I need? Right. <laughs> I'm not asking for shit. If you know what that dog need and that dog ain't asked you for a motherfucking thing, but you don't know what I need and I have to ask, I'll take care of it myself. This and don't get as mad tracking. when I take care of it my goddamn self. You know, this was an interesting take. Let me read a few of these comments for you. Oh, Lord, here we go. I hope all these men talking this hella big talk, making sure they woman don't have to ask for shit or else this post ain't for you. It's just noise. Chris Rock said it best. Women only love their dogs and kids unconditionally. They love us under the condition that we provide for them. Go where you're celebrated and not just tolerated. Years ago, I asked my girlfriend for a two minute back rub after a long day. She denied my request saying she had a long day too. 10 minutes later, she's on the couch rubbing her dog for 30 minutes straight. We broke up. I started a family and the dog died. She said the dog had worms. If you get that reference, you would you would go <laughs> because women feel they can control dogs because of that. The dog doesn't have to ask for anything, just like children. Anything they feel they can control, they take care of. I ain't gonna lie, that was a bar. I love kids. I ain't gonna lie, y'all. They're blank canvases, man, and depending on. How you treat them, they can turn out to be beautiful adults, bro. Guys, listen, in my personal life, man, I'm not even going to hold you. And I usually always get a positive response when I do this, right? Whenever I see a black man engaging, being active, cognizant of his kids, man, right on, brother. Dap them up. Tell them something like, continue to do what you're doing. This is the most important thing that you could be doing with your kids. And guys, you got to see some of the hardest, roughest looking dads that I've come across. Eyes light up. They start to glow almost, right? Because it's actually uncommon for them to get that type of praise, for them to get that type of validation, right? So I said to myself, I'm going to continue to do that because it happened to me when I had my first kid. Man, I was like 24 years old and I was walking through the mall and this group of black men just was like brother keep on doing what you're doing bro and i ain't gonna lie that shit changed my life the way they just gave me that positive um feedback it was like it was life changing i'm not gonna hold you because to hear my peers my older peers say that it let me know i was doing something right but anyway guys this was today's segment of positive vibes like i always say send your videos to that boy will reacts at gmail.com i'm gonna catch you on the next one